Feels the way of Eastman, has to get around O'Shea. Just got the hand pass out. Heads, wanted the boundary, got the boundary. And the umpire says, sorry. She sends it on its way. It hasn't quite got the distance. It's been marked on the line by Emma King. Right spot, right time. Very tall, and, and she does that quite often. It's money in the bank. Surely from here, Emma King cashes in the opener, the last game of round six. There's not a player on the Sydney list out there today that's over 180 centimetres. Might be causing headaches all afternoon as Mia King drives North Melbourne forward again on the end of it. It's Vicky Wall wants to play on because she has a player in space. And why not when it's Jazzy Garner streaming inside forward 50 all alone? The superstar route. Jazzy Garner, brilliant last week, has a goal on the board today. It's called to play on. We'll just have to bomb it to a dangerous position in the goal square. Cynthia Hamilton has a fly, but it's through for a minor score. I guess it's harder as a forward because you can be kicked out of a game so easily. So I like her being in defence. Here's a chance for Eddie reading it off the hands of the ruck. The perfect strike from Bella Eddie. And it's all too easy for these kangaroos. 3-3-21 to just one behind for the Swans. It's not that she isn't either. It's it's just that there's players around her at North that, that are just class as well. And, and to be fair, she's going to have a breakout game and we're probably going to eat our words. Garner from the pocket sees a chance and absolutely nails it. What a star. Such a wonderful star of the future as Heads takes the intercepting mark and flares it out wide to Tarrant. Gives it to Eastman. Chip just didn't have too much on it. Carney takes the intercepting mark, can run into 50, send it into the pocket. They have numbers everywhere. Two, two, two newer roles and, and for her, she's got speed on her and it takes you by surprise. Alice O'Loughlin to add further pain to Sydney. North Melbourne extend their lead here in the third term. Garner, Garner overruns it. Can't pick it up, forced to tackle Newman. Comes out to Mia King and Collier wraps her up. Montana Ham still with the run, run with roll on Jazzy Garner. What a flick down to Riddell. Riddell is going to poke it into the goal square. Here's a chance for Randall. She smacks it on the boot and she smacks it through for a goal. So Abitangelo is marked 40 out. We'll just chip it to the top of the square. Emma King! Emma King kicked the opening goal of the game. It's kicked five for the season to stretch the margin beyond 50 points. Guides at home, does Emma King. This is this is where they're really missing Ali Morfitt. And, and so we're on record watch in the final minute here. North Melbourne's greatest ever winning margin in the competition is 62 points. Can they find a late score? As Ham sends it out to Shepard, who was caught by Gat. In comes the first game as Sergeant Wilson has coughed it up. Gat releases Eddie. Has O'Loughlin free as the clock ticks down. 30 seconds to go. A record score up for grabs. Craven. It spills to Wall, who gives it to Garner. Well, this would be fitting. Wants to give it off instead to Randall to boot through her third. And North Melbourne are marching towards their highest ever AFLW win. The skipper Emma Carney's got a smile on her face. And the Roos monster the Swans and leap from eighth to fifth on the AFLW ladder with four rounds remaining.